Hello viewers, welcome to the Big Man Business YouTube channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at one of the most widely sought after global commodity which is crude oil. Before we delve into the main topic, let's take a brief overview of the salient points in this video. Crude oil is a subterranean mixture of hydrocarbons that occurs spontaneously. It might take the form of a thick tar-like substance or an extremely viscous liquid. The top crude oil producers include United States, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Canada, and China. The United States and China are the top largest consumers of oil in the world. However, the top four importers of the commodity are China, United States, India and South Korea while the top five crude oil exporting countries are United States, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Canada, and China. As at the time of making this video, the international price of crude oil is roughly $75 per barrel. Kindly subscribe to the Big Man Business YouTube channel with the red button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell for quick updates like this one. Also, visit our website www.bigmanbusiness.com for more international business news updates and more business expert videos. Now let's delve into the subject matter. Crude oil is a subterranean mixture of hydrocarbons that occurs spontaneously. It might take the form of a thick tar-like substance or an extremely viscous liquid. Crude oil comes in a variety of colors, from light yellow to dark brown to black. Oil, as well as oil derivatives, are traded on global oil markets, and it is one of the most commonly used fuel sources on the planet. Crude oil is often known as simply crude or oil. Before it can be used, this fuel source must be processed, and once refined, it comes into the category of petroleum products. Globally, crude oil is one of the most important fuel sources and, historically, has contributed to over a third of the world's energy consumption. Discovering, extracting, shipping, and refining crude is a long process, and the infrastructure needed to support the process must be in place. This involves thousands of miles of oil pipelines across countries, storage facilities in major oil trading hubs, and multiple refineries. In aggregate, the global oil industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. Oil is especially important to businesses that heavily rely on fuel, such as airlines, plastic producers, and agricultural businesses. Being such an important source of energy, crude is a major import and export of numerous countries. The importance of this commodity creates a vast financial trading market for oil and oil derivatives such as futures, forwards, and options. What determines crude oil prices? Crude oil prices depend heavily on the two aforementioned classifications. Light crude is easier to refine and produces higher quantities of high-quality gasoline and diesel fuel. It also flows freely at room temperature. The heavier and denser the oil is, the harder it is to transport. Crude classified as extra heavy can also be referred to as bitumen. It is so thick that it must be diluted to transport. Sulfur content is also very important in determining the quality and thus the price of crude. As noted, sulfur must be removed during the refining process. High quantities of sulfur also create problems related to transporting and working with the crude. For these reasons, sweet crude is generally priced higher relative to sour oil. In general, light, sweet crude oil is the most desirable. However, there is one other very important factor that affects the price of crude, the location of extraction. If crude is extracted near the coast, it is much easier to transport globally. When it is extracted further inland, it must be transported via pipeline systems to refineries and, eventually, to the coast if it is to be transported globally. When determining the price of crude oil, oil benchmarks are used as a pricing tool. There are various benchmark prices that correspond to specific oils, each with a distinct density and API gravity. The most commonly used benchmarks are West Texas Intermediate Oil and Brent. 
having an accessible price that corresponds to a specific geographical location, density, and gravity allows analysts to compare and determine the prices of different crude oils. In the international market, crude oil is priced per barrel. Now, let's talk about top crude oil producing countries. The United States is the top oil producing country in the world, with an average of 18.6 million barrel per day, which accounts for 20% of the world's production. According to the AIA, the United States has held the top spot for the past three years. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia contributes 10.82 million barrels per day, representing 11% of the world's total production making Saudi Arabia the second highest producer of the commodity. Saudi Arabia is the only member of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries to make the top five list. While Russia has fallen in the ranks, it remains one of the world's top oil producers sitting at the third spot, with an average of 10.5 million barrels per day in 2020, accounting for 11% of total world production. Russia's main regions of oil production are Western Siberia, Urals Volga, Eastern Siberia and the Far East, Arkhangelsk, and the Komi Republic. Most of the production originates from the Pryabsky and Samotler fields in Western Siberia. The oil industry in Russia was privatized after the fall of the Soviet Union, but after a few years, the companies were reverted to state control. Some of Russia's most prominent oil production companies are Rosneft, Sergat Neftegaz, and Gazprom Neft. According to the CIA World Factbook, the petroleum sector accounts for roughly 42% of the country's gross domestic product, 87% of its budget revenues, and 90% of export earnings. Canada holds the fourth spot among the world's leading oil producers, with an average production of 5.26 million barrels per day in 2020, accounting for 6% of global production. According to the AIA International Energy Outlook 2019, Canada's production could double by 2050, rising 123%, topping growth from any of the other non-OPEC countries. This increase is expected to come primarily from oil sands production. Canada's main sources of oil production are the oil sands of Alberta, the Western Canada Sedimentary Basin, and Atlantic offshore fields. China produced an average of 4.93 million barrels per day of oil in 2020, which accounts for 5% of the world's production. That being said, China is a net importer of oil, as the country consumed an average of 13.89 million barrels per day in 2018, which made it the second largest oil consumer in the world after the United States. The northeast and north central region of the country are responsible for the majority of domestic production. Mature fields like Daqing have been exploited since the 1960s, but general mature field production has peaked, and companies are increasingly investing in enhanced oil recovery techniques, such as polymer and stream flooding and water injection, to offset some of the production declines. According to Statista.com, the United States and China are the top largest consumers of oil in the world, totaling 17.2 million and 14.2 million barrels per day, respectively. In the last decade, the share of global oil consumption from Europe and North America have begun to decline, whereas consumption levels from Asia-Pacific and other regions have risen. As other sources of energy become more cost-effective and due to the prominence of new transportation technologies, oil consumption worldwide is expected to reach a peak in the near future. Global purchases of imported crude oil totaled $683.1 billion in 2020 reflecting demand from 115 countries, territories or islands. Top Crude Oil Importing Countries Overall, the dollar cost of crude oil bought by all importing countries has flatlined up by 1.9% since 2016 when crude oil purchases were valued at $670.4 billion. Year over year, total crude oil imports fell in value by minus 36% from $1.067 trillion for 2019. Before we end this video, if you are new to Big Man Business YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more business expert videos. 
Also, visit our website www.bigmanbusiness.com for more international business news and updates. The top four importers of this fossil fuel commodity which are China, United States, India and South Korea accounted for 53.7% of the overall value of imported crude petroleum purchased on international markets in 2020. Analyzing metrics at the continent level, Asian countries bought the highest dollar worth of imported crude oil during 2020 with purchases costing $391.9 billion or 57.4% of the worldwide total. In second place were European nations at 25.4% while 13.2% worth of crude oil imports were delivered to North America. Smaller percentages of crude went to Africa amounting to 1.7%, Latin America got 1.4% excluding Mexico but including the Caribbean, and Oceania got 0.9% led by Australia and New Zealand. Top Crude Oil Exporting Countries the number one exported product in the world is oil. In 2019, this commodity accounted for more than 1.3% of the total global GDP. That year, worldwide crude oil production reached 4.5 billion metric tons. Saudi Arabia has historically led the world in monthly oil exports, but as a result of a spike in shale production and a policy of energy independence, the United States has become the world's top oil exporter, although it remains to be seen if American oil can maintain the top position. While world-level data is only available for 2019, the U.S. Energy Information Administration has compiled a definitive list of top oil exporting countries for the year 2020. These countries account for more than two-thirds of total global oil exports. United States Located in the Northern Hemisphere and bordered by Mexico and Canada, the United States is now the largest oil exporting nation in the world. The U.S. exported 18.6 billion barrels of oil per day, on average, in 2020, or 20% of global exports. The country has posted an increase of close to 500% in its international sales of crude oil since 2014, according to recent statistics. Saudi Arabia Officially known as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the country of Saudi Arabia had long been the world's number one oil exporter. Formed in 1932, Saudi Arabia was responsible for 12% of global oil exports in 2020. The country is located on the Arab Peninsula and is comparable in size to Alaska. Russia, the massive, transcontinental country of Russia is the world's second largest oil exporter. In 2018, Russia's oil exports accounted for 11% of global oil exports. In geographical size comparison, Russia is twice as large as the entire United States. Canada, the northernmost nation in North America, Canada is the world's fourth largest exporter of oil. In 2020, the country exported 6% of the global supply. Due to the size of its expansive Athabasca oil sands, it is estimated that Canada still holds more than 10% of the world's oil reserves. China, while not especially known for its oil production capacity, China has ramped oil its petroleum exports, making the fifth position for 2020. The country sold an average of 4.93 million barrels of oil per day in that year or 5% of total exports. Iraq, initially formed in 1932, Iraq was once among the world's top three exporters of oil. In 2020, Iraq fell to sixth place, accounting for 4% of global exports. Located in the Middle East, Iraq is comparable in size to California. United Arab Emirates, number seven on the list is the United Arab Emirates. Located on the Arabian Peninsula, the UAE is approximately the size of South Carolina. In 2020, the UAE around 4% of the world's total oil exports. Brazil, Brazil accounts for oil production of about 3.8 million barrels per day and is the eighth largest oil producing country in the world. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, EIA, more than 90% of Brazil's oil production is extracted from deepwater oil fields offshore. 
In addition, Brazil has nearly 13 billion barrels in proven oil reserves, which is the second largest in Latin America after Venezuela. Iran, Iran is the second largest country by land area in the Middle East and about twice the size of Texas. It is seventh on the list in 2020, exporting around 4% of the global total. Kuwait, given its small size, it is impressive that Kuwait is on the list of the world's top oil exporters. The country, established in 1752 and located in the Arabian Peninsula, is about the size of Connecticut. In 2020, the country exported 3% of the world's total. That will be all on this episode, thanks for watching this video. We are open to suggestions. Kindly drop your comments in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the Big Man Business YouTube channel. See you in the next video.